Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Kanchipuram. Every once in a while, in that kingdom, there would be a quest to find new candidates for various activities in the kingdom and the palace. The minister goes out and recruits several civilians who are interested in it, serving the nation in various ways. The occupations that they are looking to fill with candidates are defense guards, security guards, soldiers, and special advisors. One day, the minister recruits two men named Ajayan and Vijayan. These two men have been selected to learn a lesson in order to be a candidate. I have selected the both of you in order to recruit you for various activities that you can be a part of in our kingdom based on your skills and expertise but keep in mind one thing that my evaluation and assessment come on i would only be able to select one of you as only one is required for the job that i am trying to find a person for we understand minister we are willing to give our best and be recruited to the job we will be more than privileged to be trained and tested by you we will make sure to fulfill your requirements both of you are skilled in self defense and intelligence you have time and again proved your competence as a man and as a patriot of the nation but before that i would like to give both of you a test this test would determine and predict what your skills and your talent might be but sir you have not given us a lesson yet how can we do a test we are still quite untrained listen to me young man being a special advisor to the king is not an easy job because it requires you to think on the feet and to be intelligent and witty at all time the skill set requires a test from both of you so that i can see if you are fit for that role you will get a job immediately in the kingdom we both accepted with honor i think we are capable of completing this task the minister then takes two bags and hands it over to ajayan and vijayan The minister then says like this I am going to hand over these two bags to you and I want both of you to travel to the neighboring villages Sivapuram and Vilupuram that are beside our nation and give it to a person that I have named once you give it they will give you back receipts and I want you to bring it back to me we will do as you say but how long it will take to reach the village shivapuram you need not worry those villages are very near and you can walk towards it in time leave now and come back with receipts sure sir we shall leave immediately and deliver the bags both the men left the nation and started traveling to the villages that they were assigned to deliver the bags ajayan was on his way to go to shivapuram as he was on his way he kept walking and walking but he was still unable to reach his destination it had taken much longer time than he had already expected what is this Why it is taking so long for me to reach that village Shivapuram? Didn't that minister tell me that the village was nearby and I could walk towards it? I am so thirsty. The sun is so hot today. I have to eat something immediately. As Ajayan looked around, he spotted a well. That well was filled with a lot of water. Ajayan took that opportunity and drank a lot of water in that particular well. After a while, he found a tree with a big shade under it and he went and sat there. He was extremely tired. After resting for few minutes, a man walks past him. Ajayan looks at the man and asks him like this. Sir, where is that village named Shivapuram? I have been walking for hours and I am still unable to find it. Is it anywhere nearby? Are you out of your mind? That village is way far away from here. You would have to travel for at least half a day to reach there. It is not nearby in any way that you think. All right. But is there any other village nearby that I can go to as I am really hungry and thirsty too? It is very important for me to quench my thirst as of now. You are lucky that you even found a well nearby because there is no such thing as a village anywhere apart from Shivapuram which would take off a day for you to reach. Once you reach there, you might get some food to eat. So go there and look for it. The man then walks past him and leaves him. Ajay becomes really frustrated and upset that the minister had lied to him and says this to himself. Why did the minister not tell me the village would be far away? If he would have told me, I would pack something before I back on this journey. Oh my god. Hmm. Let us see if there is anything in this bag. Let's see. He becomes really hungry and he decides to see what is actually in that bag. When he opens the bag, he sees 100 murkus. With the 100 murkus, there was a letter. Ajayan takes the letter and reads the letter. Sir kindly 
See if there are under murkus in the bag and if there is exactly under murkus come on please pay the man and hand him over the receipt After reading the letter he doesn't know how many murkus were there in the bag so he thought it would be in a large amount so he started counting the murkus which is in the bag How stingy must this minister be the minister gave so many murkus but he can't have a little extra so that i can have some how am i supposed to serve up in this dry area without any food would it be an issue if i take a few how that minister could be so unfair like this after a while ajayan takes five of the murukus and changes the letter's description from 100 murukus to 95 murukus he does this and has he is really hungry and once he eats the five murukus he is feeling much better now once his hunger is over he starts traveling to shivapuram he walks towards the village and he finally finds the man that he was supposed to give the bag to sir i was sent by the minister to give you this bag which contains 95 murukus take this bag please accept and give me the receipt and i should take it back to the minister so here it is the man reads the letter which was in that bag and accept that muruku and gives back a receipt to him he gives him back some money and a receipt meanwhile vijayan on other hand kept traveling towards the east of the nation to reach the village named virupuram as he kept walking even he felt quite tired and he took a break he then said to himself like this Why is this village so far away from here? I thought the minister said it was nearby. I should have reached that village by now. This shows the minister wanted to test us. He wanted to test how determined we are to accomplish the task. I should move forward, but I feel very hungry. I need to eat something or else I would not be able to move forward in this journey. Vijayan was really hungry so out of curiosity he takes the bag and he opens to see what it is even in his bag there seems to be 100 murukus with the same letter Vijayan gets tempted to eat one of the murukus so he decided to count each and every murukus in the bag there seems to be exactly 100 murukus which means that minister wants me to deliver this muruku in the exact same number that it should be i should make sure that not one goes missing vijayan thinks about it for a while as he is very tempered and hungry he then proceeds to take the outer part of the muruku and eat each and every outer part that is in the bag until his hunger is over he does this carefully so that the number of murukus remains the same after a while he then goes to a river nearby and drinks some water from it He then starts to walk towards the village. He gives the bag to the man who was waiting for him and he gets a receipt and reaches the palace to meet the minister while Ajayan was already there. Congratulations students both of you have seemingly accomplished the task that I have given to you. Okay hand me over the receipts. The minister starts to check the bag and he starts reading the receipts. As soon as he starts reading both the receipts, he realizes that in the receipt that Ajayan brought, the number of murukus were 95 instead of 100, whereas Vijayan receipt has 100 murukus in it. What Ajayan? Why is it that in your receipt there are only 95 murks instead of 100? Is there a reason for this? What happened to the rest of the 5 murks? Sir You would have to forgive me. I was really hungry. I didn't know that the path towards the village was that long. Because of my hunger, I ate five murkus. So please, sir, consider this as a salary for the job that I did. I understand your situation. You were really hungry, and that is why you have eaten five murks. And I will accept this as your salary. The minister realizes that Vijay brought the pack, which is exactly as in the receipt that he was looking for, which had the number of hundred murukus. This made them really happy. So you both have finally completed the task that I have given you successfully, and now I shall give you my final and last test. This test will determine who I want to select as a recruit for the palace. Are you okay with that? We accept minister. We shall accept any challenge you give us. The minister then leads both of these men to a vast field which is empty. In the vast field there are two bullock carts. Both of the carts have a package in it and are carried by a huge bull. The minister says, 
this would be your final and last test. The task is very simple. I want both of you to go to the neighbor's nation. I want you Vijayan to go to the neighbor's nation in the west and you Ajayan to go to the neighbor's nation in the east. Once you reach there, I want you to give a package to the king and come back to me with the message that I would receive. As soon as both of them hear the task, Ajayan starts riding first. He rides to the kingdom fast and fiercely. Ajayan reaches the kingdom in the west. He then goes inside the palace and he greets the king and said like this. Greetings my king. I am from the kingdom called Kanchipuram and I have been sent by minister to give you a present. Please accept this package that has been sent from my kingdom. Ajayan and then places the package in front of the king. The king looks at it and he is so glad. The king then asks Ajayan, Very splendid young man. May I know what is inside the package? My king, what is inside is ashes. My minister sent you a package of ashes and asked you to respond to it. The king is really affected when he realizes that there are ashes in the package. He gets really upset and he calls upon his minister and says like this. How dare you offend me by giving me ashes? This is extremely disrespectful and I will not tolerate this. I will make sure that you are punished severely and you get a death penalty. Minister, come here immediately. The minister then comes to the king down for a while and he analyzes the situation. He then understands that Ajay is the young man who is sent to complete a test assigned by the minister and this man does not mean any harm and was not disrespectful in any way. The minister says to Ajayan, Listen young man, you have did a big mistake. I understand that you are here on a task given by you by the minister of Kanchipuram which is why I am pardoning you and I am letting you go. What you did is extremely disrespectful and I want you to leave from here immediately. Go right away. Ajayan leaves the palace immediately and he started to travel back to see his minister in Kanchipuram. Meanwhile, Vijayan is on his way to the kingdom in the east. Before he enters the palace, he checks the package and he realizes that there is ashes. This surprises him and he then thinks to himself like this. Oh no, if I go and give this to the king right now, I will be punished and given the death sentence. As they would take this as a disrespect, I will believe that this is the test that my minister has given me to see how smart and intelligent I am. So I need to find a way to get out of this situation. He thinks about a plan for a while. After he gets an idea, he decided to go inside the palace. Vijay greets the king and says like this. My king. I give my greetings from the kingdom Kanchipuram. I have been sent by my minister to give you the magical ash. So my king, please take this. Ash? I will never heard of any magical ash before. What is the speciality of it? This ash has been blessed by several of our spiritual and wizardly leaders who have claimed that this magical ash gives every nation good luck, wealth and prosperity. I am here to give this to you so that your kingdom can flourish and be peaceful in every way it can. And I hope this will satisfy you and please you. My minister in my kingdom would also like to know and what you think of it and what you want to respond to him. Thank you very much. I am very very pleased and glad for your present that you have given to me. Your kingdom and my kingdom will always be friends and I have nothing but respect for your king and minister. The king then gratefully accepts the present and makes sure that Vijayan is given a lot of gifts so that he can go and give it back to the minister. Vijayan is also given a grand dinner and a lot of gold coins. This makes Vijayan so happy. Meanwhile, Ajayan reaches the minister's balcony and he says this to him. Sir. I did not expect this from you. I thought this job would be a very safe and secure job. But my life was almost taken away from me today. I am sorry. I do not need this job. Ajayan then goes back to his village. Vijayan after a while comes back and hands over all the prizes that he received from the kingdom to his minister. Vijayan with a smile on his face says this to his minister. Sir, is there any other test? I would be more than willing to show you that I can be competent for this job. There are no other tests. In fact, the very first test you have given the correct receipt and that is enough for me. But I gave you a second test just to see if you are as competent as I thought you were. You have been finally selected and I am more than happy to welcome you to the kingdom as a special advisor. 
Thank you so much, sir. Vijayan's ability to think on his feet and his ability to be smart and intelligent, it is what got him the job of special advisor. This makes his life much better and he is more than grateful for the opportunity. If you like this story, do like it, share it. For more news stories, please subscribe our news stories book English YouTube channel.